Hey guys, in this video I'm gonna be showing you some of my favorite Nails by Dev brushes and how I use them, so keep watching. Hey guys, as you guys know, I own my own line of nail art brushes and we're going to be going over some of my favorites, starting with the As If Ombre brush. This is my all-time favorite brush for doing gel ombre. The two gel colors I chose are I'm Sprung and Be My Lover Blue. Now, I went ahead and I cured the pink base and now you'll see me putting blue on one third of the nail evenly across the top. Now the angle that you hold your brush to the nail is very important. As you see, I'm gonna be doing some up and down strokes flush to the nail. If you're too bent in like this, you're gonna leave streaks. And if you're too high up like this, it's not gonna touch the nail as good at all. So you wanna do some even strokes across the nail. And as you get towards more of the bottom, you want to kind of just do little tiny tapping motions to blur that color into the other color. I do want to note that some colors are super hard to ombre. You need pigmented thicker gels. Waterier gels are way too hard to ombre and some colors just don't work together. Now I'm going to cure that in the lamp and just wipe my brush on a paper towel. And we're going to go ahead and do that same exact thing one more time. You wanna make sure that you're using very light strokes and not pressing too hard because you don't wanna remove the color. And like I said, make sure that your angle of the brush is not too far bent in because you don't wanna leave streaks. I do wanna note again that yes, I do use this brush dry with no alcohol. And look at how beautiful this cotton candy ombre is. I'm obsessed. After each use of all my brushes, I always clean them in 70% alcohol. With all my brushes, I always swirl them around in the alcohol, lay it on a paper towel, get all the alcohol and paint out of it. If you need to repeat this step twice, go ahead and do that. Um, once is usually fine with the ombre brush though. Moving on, we have our first most popular liner brush. This was the first brush I ever launched when I started my website, and it is great for all kinds of nail art. This is how I load it when I'm doing a very thick line. You see I have kind of a ball and I have more of a thicker situation going on in my brush. The key is using the same pressure as you go down the nail to get a nice thick straight line and going nice and slow. And if you wanna get a thinner line, it's a lot trickier, but it's definitely possible with this brush. You just load up the brush a lot less paint and you wanna use the very, very tip of that hair with the lightest pressure you can to get that nice, thin, crispy line. Now, on this nail, we're gonna paint a Powerpuff Girl. From the Complexion Collection, I'm using the shade Baby Doll to get the skin tone. We're gonna do like a sideways oval for the head. This brush is good for filling in big areas very quickly, for doing thick lines, thin lines, and it's also an amazing brush for doing French like French tips. Now recently, this brush right here has been my secret weapon. I use this in all my videos. This is the nine millimeter brush. It's a great brush for beginners and advanced artists because the length is just perfect. It's not too long and it's not too short. This brush also includes a cap and you can get really, really thin lines with this brush and thick lines too. It has absolutely amazing control and I honestly can't say enough good things about this brush. I just am so obsessed with it. After laying down Bubbles hair, because we are painting Bubbles the Powerpuff Girl, we're gonna go ahead and just draw out her eyes. I promise slow and steady and the same pressure if you have to balance on your pinky like you see me doing up there, it really helps control your brush when you're doing nail art. Now, we're just gonna draw out her two little arms right here, which are two little ovals. And then we're gonna use that color Be My Lover Blue that we used earlier for the body. And then we're gonna take my white liner gel and add two little legs. I'm gonna go ahead and use that same blue to add the blue into her eyes. In right about here, you're gonna see me make a mistake. Yes, I make mistakes, but let me show you how I clean them up. Now, the best brush for cleaning up mistakes is this Slim Shady Blender Brush. Not only is this brush amazing for shading and blending small areas in characters and nail art and stuff like that, it is awesome for cleaning up little mistakes. Look at this, I just used a tiny, tiny bit of alcohol 
and then I just go ahead and clean up and it's such a good size to get in them small mistaked areas. Now this is the tiniest brush of the fam. This is called the micro detailer brush. It is a great brush for drawing circles. It has absolutely amazing control. I know some really popular artists that use this brush and this is the only brush that they like to use. I personally like a little bit of a longer brush, but some people just use this brush only for painting portraits. It's insane. So really it's all about your preference, whether you prefer a longer liner brush or a shorter medium liner brush. Now you see me that I switched back to my nine millimeter and I tried to get capture this footage of getting this tiny line, but of course my glove got in the way. We're gonna also draw out her tiny little mouth right here and pretty much using that same nine millimeter brush, I'm just gonna fill out more details on her body and just outlining her arms. And when I get to the outside of the character, you are gonna see me in a second switching to the Hella Cute liner brush for that. We are gonna add her little hair tie thingies up here using the blue and doing two little circles on each side. I'm using my micro detailer brush for this and just outlining the circles. Now, when it comes to being fancy, this is definitely the prettiest brush that I own. This is the diamond detailer brush. It's like micro detailer brushes, ugh, evil sister. Like, it's, it's pretty much the same as the micro detailer brush, but I believe it's only one millimeter longer. I don't know if you guys have seen, but I also paint custom Nikes and I use this brush. Actually, this brush only when I'm painting my Nike shoes. I love this brush, it's just amazing and it's also so pretty. Now I'm going back to my trusty Hella Cute liner brush and I'm getting these nice bold outlines around her head. I wanna give you guys a little words of encouragement here. Um, you should see what my Powerpuff Girl used to look like. Don't go into nail art thinking you're just gonna be amazing right off rip. It is so normal to start off not your best, but I promise you that with the right brushes and with the right amount of practice and dedication, your nail art will be amazing in no time. Taking my micro detailer brush, I'm just gonna go ahead and do two little circles for her eyes. And now taking one of my favorite products, the black shading gel, we're just gonna add some shading wherever I feel is necessary on this character. Down below in the description, I'm gonna link my website. So if you guys wanna purchase anything that I use in the video, everything in this video can be purchased on my website. Now I wanted to add some cute little butterflies to this set and wait till you see how cute these came out. I'm taking my super pigmented NYX Splat orange liner gel and I'm just gonna be like outlining the outside of this butterfly. I did cure the yellow first and now I'm going in with my Slim Shady Blender brush and I'm just going to be kind of giving this butterfly some cute little ombre wings i'm also using this brush dry i'm not it does not have any alcohol on it at all if you want to add a tiny little bit that's fine but do not overdo it if you add too much alcohol it can make your colors run and it can pull color away so your ombre will not ombre it it just won't it won't be what you want it to be another version of this brush is the little baby blender that was our first released shading brush it's just a cheaper option um, the only difference is the Slim Shady is made out of all metal and it has a cap, which the Little Baby Blender does not have a cap. Now taking my 9mm liner brush, we are going to get these super fine details. And just, I'm just going to let this brush speak for itself and just watch. I also decided I was gonna add some cute little white dots on the butterfly to top it off. And to finish off this nail, I'm using my favorite matte top coat. I cannot stress this enough. This matte is the best matte I have ever touched. Um, not only for the reason that it makes it super matte finish, but it won't smear your black liner gel. I don't know about y'all, but when I have used the wipes that are no wipe mattes, it always happens to leave streaks or to smear my black liner gel. And with this one, you have to wipe it with alcohol, so it's lacking a property 
in the chem like in the formula that'll make your black liner gels run so that's a plus all right now we're gonna take my glow in the dark pigments and we're gonna be showing you the pressed pigment brush this brush is good for doing little ombre effects and airbrushy effects and applying pigments. So I cured the white. My white does dry with a tacky layer. So after curing it, I'm just pressing the glow powders in little different areas. Um, and I feel like it kind of gives it like a cool springy tie dye effect. I actually want to play again with this and see if I could actually do a tie dye spiral kind of nail art design with the glow powders. I think it would be so cute. And um, I just really like how these colors came out. So a tie dye whole set with this would be so cute. So I tried to show you guys glowing in the dark, but my room was not dark enough, but you get the point. And if you have the glow powders, you know how bright they glow. This is the abstract brush. It is such a funky, weird looking guy, but just wait, he does some cool stuff. I just decided I was gonna do some cool abstracty strokes. This would be such a cool nail to do with like a grungy, maybe like bubble letter graffiti style set with some cool character art. You guys know I've done a ton of this kind of style in my nail art, if you know my work. I just really like how this nail came out and I love this abstract style. Next, we're gonna be taking the color Rave Girl. Look at how beautiful this pink is, by the way. Oh my gosh. And we're going to be using the glitter brush. This is the glitter fan brush and it's for applying ombre glitter effects and let me just show you i'm using the disturbia glitter and after i've cured my pink i added a rubber base coat and cured it so it would be sticky and then i'm just tilting the nail downwards and doing some little strokes and letting the brush do the job of kind of just creating this beautiful glitter holographic ombre Honestly, everybody needs one of those brushes in their life. At some time or another, we all work with glitter and this is a super simple, quick way to do ombre, so you need it. A few brushes that I did not cover in this video that I'll be covering in another one eventually is this is the 3D acrylic brush. It's amazing for doing 3D nail art. We also have the filler brush, which is a collab with me and Alicia the Nail Doctor. This brush is awesome for top coating 3D nail art and getting in them little nooks and crannies. And these brushes are awesome for applying base coat, doing gel extensions, working with hard gel, or applying gel potted colors. I hope this video helped you guys out a little bit. I'm gonna be trying to do this more often with my products. If there's anything you want me to cover in one of my next videos, let me know in the comments. You guys can shop everything I use in this video on nailsbydev.com. I love you guys and I'll see you in another video soon.